So you bring this first charger and it takes no work, right? Yep. Zero work to bring the first one in. Yep. Bring the second one in. No, that's not wrong. Huh? Continue. <laughs> so, but that the work is Okay, change it to the enemy. So remember now we're taking our reference point as what? Well, infinity, right? Mm -hmm. So the initial potential energy is zero. So we only care about the potential energy at these points. Follow me? Mm -hmm. This is a lock. This is what, let's say this is number one, two, three, four. When I bring the first one, let me calculate the potential energy. V1 is zero. Okay? The first one that I bring in, it took no work because there was no electric field in the area, so there was no resistance of any kind. See, potential energy comes from this electric field in the area that puts up some kind of resistance. Follow me? There's some kind of resistance. It's either the charge that I'm bringing in is going to work with the field or against the field. That's where the work comes from. You're either working with the field or against the field. Okay? Are you guys paying any attention to me? Should I bother even to go over this? Not the first part. Now that you told me what I'm supposed to be doing, I know. Well, you need to wake up. No sleeping. Tell him to wake up. Lark has my back. And you need to put that book away. But see, I just told him I was supposed to have done. I know how to do it. I, I don't want to waste my time up here explaining it. You not. You know, because sometimes I feel like I'm wasting my time. Because I'm teaching it, and you're not going back to reinforce it. I don't understand how you would expect to learn it if you're not reinforcing it. V2 is the potential for this charge, which is K positive Q divided by this distance, S. At that point. Multiply by this charge, right? Does that make sense? Okay, so that this is this is the, the, the potential at that point. Okay? And this is the work. Which is K Q squared over S at this point. And up here, the work is zero. You follow me so far? Are you with me so far? All you got to do is bring these charge in one at a time. That's all you got to do. How did I get Q squared? Somebody asking that question? So here's work one and work two. Work one. Let's do work three. We're going to bring this charge in. So we need the potential at this point, right? We just calculate potential at that point. V3 is the potential from this. K, Q over S plus K, Q over this distance. What's this distance?
Okay? That's my potential at this point. Mm -hmm. Now, my work at that point, which is work three, is this charge times my potential, which is Q. It's actually negative because it's a negative charge right now. You cannot ignore the negative. Edwin and Zubin, no sleeping. <laughs> Time V3, which is negative K Q over S plus X minus K Q square over square root of 2 times F. That's work 3 right there. We're almost done. We have one left. Work number 3. Then we need potential 4. Bringing this charge in. Okay? This is potential from this. KQ over S. Potential from this. Minus KQ over S plus KQ over the square root of 2S. Wow. Looks like these two are going to cancel, huh? Huh? Does it look like it, right? Okay, so. Let's make sure. Well, this one is negative, and that one is positive, so they do cancel. Well, both cancel.